What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here representing the movement towards improvement over here at beautiful Raven Golf Club over here at the Tour Striker Academy back of the range with my buddy David Sheeman. Okay, I met David last year when I was a member at Legacy. He moved over here working on his game, grinding, trying to get better. So David, what are you going to share with us today? I am just going to show you guys my, uh, my pre-round routine and take you how I get loosened up before I play, play a All tournament right. round. Thanks for sharing with us. So, uh, the first thing I do, I actually uh, start my warm-up routine at home. I'll uh, do some foam rolling. I use the golf roller. And uh, really the biggest thing I'm trying to, to do before my pre-round, just for like, my warm-up, is I want to loosen my back up and loosen my hips and also like, activate my hip muscles, getting them firing. But like, for me, my hips are, uh, well, they're just really, really tight, right? So uh, it's just really important for me to loosen them up before my round. So. Uh, the foam rolling exercises I do, um, I'll just uh, just do some typical stuff, just to open up my T-spine and roll back and forth on this. And then uh, I'll also basically try and get target all the muscles in and around my hips. So I'll do like the glutes and the in my butt essentially. I'll uh, right in here I find my TFL muscle to be really really tight, so I'll get that on both sides. And I also try and get my hip flexors. And uh, I'll do that after the round as well. But uh, that's really things I'll try and do at home. Then uh, when I get to the course. Hey David, real quick. Yeah. What do you feel like if you didn't do that? Like if you just went to the course or to the tournament and didn't do that, what's the difference between your body and how does that affect the results? So I've always taken like my pre-round routine really, really seriously for tournaments, but maybe not so much for fun rounds. And uh, I'd be the type of guy who just show up to the first tee and, and peg it, right? And I find I, I'm fine, like, I guess I'd say I'm acceptable, my performance. Like, I feel okay, but I feel like if I want to get the most out of my round, really the most out of my golf, like, kind of want to do everything I can, have my body basically be primed to perform, right? Like, I feel like if you look at like a serious athlete, like like an NBA player, like they're at the game like two hours beforehand, right? Like they're yeah, boxers, football players, everyone's they're, getting they're, almost in a sweat before the, the round even starts. They're doing yeah, obviously they do the shoot around, like they do. Um, <laughs> I mean I don't know what their pre-game rituals are, but you see them on the court like an hour and a half beforehand, right? And I'm not saying you have to show up to the course two hours beforehand, but like it's a pretty violent motion, like you're swinging a golf club at 110, 150 miles an hour on the first tee, like, I don't know, kind of want to be, have everything activated so you're ready to do that by the time your game rolls around as opposed to slowly loosening up and feeling good by the fifth hole, like, I just kind of want to be ready to go for my first shot of the game, so that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. So, uh, yeah, and once I get to the course, um, so again, like I said, like, the biggest things I'm trying to do is open up my hips and also really loosen up my back, right? So uh, I'll do hip swings. These uh, I find really open up my hip flexors. And I try and I try and stabilize with the other leg as opposed to uh, really leaning on this club. I'm trying to stabilize as much as I can with this planted foot. So I almost feel like I'm pushing that into the ground. And then I'll do the same thing, just swing it in front of me. I just try and go toe up to toe up. And it's just a nice, nice stretch. And uh, everything I try and do in like my warm up, I want it to be, well, I've just heard like passive stretching, whereas, uh, you know, just like a, a slow, sustained stretch. I've just heard that's not as good for uh, like pre round things. More dynamic. Yeah, just because I guess like you lose a little bit of strength research shows if you do that. So it's good to do that after your round. For me too, I, I like foam rolling or myofascial release more than static stretching too. Like I, I've done static stretching where I've almost stretched too much maybe. Mm -hmm. In the round I can't even feel my body because I've like almost loosened everything up. But I don't get that feeling when I use a foam roller or a lacrosse ball. Um, or do more like fascia release. Yeah. So I don't know, I mean, maybe you find what works for you. Maybe for some reason you like static stretching, you feel great, you know? It's just, uh, that's what I prefer, I guess, and I'm glad you agree. Um, so 
when you mentioned earlier just how uh just you're saying we're talking about kind of other athletes and how they try and get in a sweat before they're i feel like when i do my warm-up like i'm i'm sweating a little bit like i'm kind of hopping popping by the end of it so I'll do the hip swings with both legs both sides then i'll uh i keep this band in my bag and uh, i'll just do just like some side shuffles with it and go back and forth a few times, do a couple sets of these. And yeah, I'm really just trying to activate just all the, the small little muscles in my hips, get them firing. And I just find like when I do this, I just have feel way more stability in my swing, right? And uh, so I'll do kind of sets of 10, 10 on each side, uh, sideways, forwards, backwards, and across, and repeat with the other leg. And then I'll do some rotation exercises. And I'll just slowly rotate back and forth, kind of slowly gaining speed, just trying to loosen up my back. And I'm just letting my, uh, letting my foot and my hips release each way, really trying to loosen up my back. And then I'll do it a little differently. I'll turn to the right and swing as if a right-handed swing, but I'll try and stabilize this hip on the way back. So I'm getting those muscles to fire again and then kind of trying to explode through with my hips. So hip stable back, explode back. And then since I'm left-handed, I'll finish doing it with uh, doing the opposite way. So stabilizing the left hip, then firing through with it, opening it up. So you're almost trying to prime each movement in your actual golf swing. You're almost get firing, pre-firing each movement before you actually even hit a ball. Exactly, yeah. Like I'm just trying to uh, just get it so engaged. my hip- Engaged. Exactly, engaged. It's a perfect yeah. way to put it. And uh, the last thing I'll do before I actually hit some, hit some balls is I'll take some right-handed swings. Maybe just about 10 swings. And then lastly, some full swings left-handed. And again, starting slow and just slowly picking up speed. So all in all, on the range, it probably takes me about seven or eight minutes. But... Uh, I just find it's really worth it. Like I was saying, I was guilty in the past, especially in fun rounds of just going straight to the first tee. But uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just really helped my performance. And by the time I'm hitting balls, like I said, I have a bit of sweat and I'm really just really ready to start hitting. Like I body feels like I'm good to go. I feel like I can hit drivers right now. And the reason I swing with a driver as opposed to another club is uh, I just find just since it's a longer club, it like, it slows down my tempo a little bit. So as opposed to, I don't know, I just find like it's really hard to make a super quick swing with a driver, especially when it's your first swing of the day. So I find it's a nice, long, slow, smooth club to start with. The first balls I'll actually hit with, I'll move and start hitting wedges. That's why I like swinging and stretching with the driver. Well, thanks for sharing, David. I'm sure a lot of people who are watching can actually utilize what you just showed and implement that into their pre-round warm-up. And I bet you that they're going to warm up more efficiently and then that's going to equate to better shots on the course. Yeah, I hope it's helpful. Now, let's hit some shots. Okay. Now that you're warmed up, right? Now that I'm warmed up. That's the whole purpose. Thanks for watching that video, you guys. I want to say a big thanks to David for sharing his dynamic warm-up that you guys can use to prepare yourself for hitting good shots before the round. We have part two coming where David shares how he warms up as he's hitting balls. If you guys want to get one of those golf foam rollers, check out the links in the description and email me. I have a few of those left. They're really nice. They're very portable and small. You can travel with them and it can loosen you up before and after your round. If you guys haven't already, check out my other videos, my putting drill with Christian and my bunker overview with Jimbo. You guys, please subscribe. i got more videos coming soon from different states with different players and different coaches. Thanks for your support. Hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. Links all down below. And of course, check out my membership site, mti.gabrielrider.com. I'll talk to you guys soon.